Well, hello guys, I'm in my Astro Cave. Just um, what I'm going to do is add this Celestron Dew Corrector Place uh, ring to my Skywatcher Quattro. Now, what I've done is on the back, I've taken all the mirror out to give it a clean and a thought. You know what? That hole there, centre, it's about six inches and that's the size of this I've got now it didn't quite fit so I've just had to maybe a bit brutally just take a little millimeter or so off maybe two millimeters which isn't affecting the air because it sits on the cork anyway and the plan of action is when I mount my mirror back in I can just bit of silicon sealant and that will sit on the glass right in there and it'll still allow it to move because I haven't been having uh, troubles with uh, a bit of uh, dew on my mirrors and Newtonian because I generally image to the east and coming up to the zenith any hot air has been uh, any warm air cool air is going out and I do store it in the store it away so it's at ambient temperature anyway so it doesn't take much to start getting a film of, of mist on it and it it's not really good even with the fan i've got one of these fans it's not really helping so uh, the idea is just to put this on and see if that helps the next clear night again now when that'll be i don't know because i haven't had a clear night now for a month I'm getting a bit handsy so that's the idea is just to do this and then put all back and see if it works the mirror on to it I've been blowing it off but it's a little bit, a bit slightly dusty but it's clean um, it's all very nerve wracking putting these screws in I literally it just, it just touches, doesn't have to be tight. And I'll go around each one. There's, there's little uh, sort of rubber, but you don't want to get pinched optics. So I don't, don't like uh, doing these because it's. Um, Dread to slip. Just yeah, yeah. It keeps it all nice and steady, and it's not, it's not, it's not pinching. It. It's just closed down, so it's just, just touching it. You know, just, if, you, if you screw it right down, when you come to do it, an image, it'll be a thingy. So it's, just make sure that the, just a little, just touching. That's all it needs. It's not going to fall out, they're not going to come undone. Just, just sort of just touching. Keep that another clean, another blow off. Now, I've got a, a mark on this where it should sit. Where it's always where it's always sat a bit a little bit of tape there, so I'm gonna put this in now. Let's get this, and I'll need some a little screw. So that's that made it looking fine. Just gently push it in. Now we'll get. A single screw in the top. Right, we have to mirror in. And as I say, with this, this ring, it sits right in there onto the glass, and there's enough room around there, enough play around there. 
but it's not going to affect the mid air. And uh, even the collimation, the, the collimation moves the hold of this. But when it comes to cleaning the mirror again, this sh should lift out no problems and it will stay in place. So that's the plan. I'm just going to break out the silicon sealants and just silicon that on. So silicon is just plain old silicon sealant, general purpose. And what I've done is I've just put a little tiny ring around that. You see that? And the and the plan is is hopefully it should stick to the glass. And I say I'll do the experiment so you don't have to, so it's fine. I'm just going to stick it into, into glass now. And that appears to have gone quite well. Now, if you look, I've put the wires over here where the collimation screws are because I've got to have a gap for this to come through. And on this plate, we've got quite a large gap there. So when that's on, I'll have the wire out for it. So that's the plan. Now, it's all connected. It's, I think it's a case of letting it go off now. I'm just going to... Um, Wind them in, in a little, in a little bit, because I've unwound the springs. I've unwound the collimation springs right the way back, so I'm, I'm wind them in a little bit now. Now the collimation will be right out, and first thing I'll do when I'm imaging is I'll I'll put an image up. I'll take a say a three second image or two second image out of focus. And it'll have donuts of how the collimation is, and I'll show that on on another video. But that's what I'll do, and uh, hopefully this is going to work. There should be just a gentle heat on the back of the mirror, and it should carry up through. Now whether I get thermal noise, I don't know, but it's only got to be a little uh, a degree above the dew point. So I will have the fan going as well, and hopefully I should have a nice nice uh, dew free images because when I noticed last time I used it the images just got worse and worse and I looked down the scope and it was a uh, it was a mist like a bathroom mirror a, a mist and it's basically all 30 minutes or so so just uh, wasted but the plan is to use this on galaxy season because I haven't had any clear night well I had two hours and that's when I, I come into the issue so I got I was doing various experiments with the fan working and with the out fan working to see if the full width half maximum would change but it uh, it doesn't change the fan doesn't affect the seeing at the telescope surface but what it does do obviously is the dew when it misted over so hopefully this will sort it out it's a reasonably easy fix hopefully uh, a little bit involved and it's just, I'm just going to let that go off now and uh, once it's gone off I'll put the back plate and see uh, now when I come to the end of this video I don't know it could be days or weeks before I get to use this telescope and show you the results so it'll be a quick cut for you but I don't know how long it's going to be for me see you in a bit so I'm in Nina and I'm just going to collimate my telescope quickly now on the camera I do have the Planet F4 comma corrector from Skywatcher um, I haven't got the spacing quite right yet so I will do that uh, over time so I'm just going to quickly collimate it and hopefully it'll be right when it uh, I'll give an image but as you can see they're not they're not quite right and the edges won't be right because of the spacings of the planet character so that's that's the plan of action and i'll move it about as you can see now the, the telescope is just 
pull you not to pull so I would say um, there's plenty of stars around there generally speaking and I'm, I'll, I'll, that's what I always do as when I pull a line I just quickly check the condemnation like this it's it's I always find it the easiest way <clears throat> now sometimes if the stars are really dim I will increase the time but otherwise I'll just uh, collimate it this way you generally you pull the black dot up or across or left to right towards the wider part of it of the circle so you always pull towards the centre so if you need to go to the centre as you can see I'm just moving it now <coughs> to get it further over and that will more centre the black Well, here I am in the garden. It's funny enough. It's the very next day. Um, I've got a, probably about an hour and a half of clear sky. So I've set me the uh, sky watcher quarter up, and everything seems to be working fine. It's uh, as you see, it's a bit chilly tonight, and it's, there's no dew on my primary mirror. So that seems to be worked quite well. I've done a quick collimation with it using my camera, and uh, everything seems fine. It's, unfortunately, we're getting the, all the patchy cloud coming in now, but it seemed to work really well. So I'm really quite pleased with it actually. Um, and hopefully, depending on how things go, you might eventually get some clear skies again. But uh, I'm pleased with it, and it seems to work really well. And here I have an image looking down a tube. If you look down on the left there, you can see the icy frost on the left and the mirror is perfectly clear. So it does work. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Clear skies.